This is just a quick video about our new disc planter. Uh, this is a typical inter-row where the, the weeds and grasses have come up from the local seed bank. Uh, it's quite effective, but we would like to plant a lot more other things, perhaps like vetches, which are attractive to um, bees. They're a quick crop. They provide nitrogen fixing. Uh, and other things like buckwheat, which are once again very quick um, and are very attractive to beneficial insects. Even brassicas, there are lots of different types of brassicas that can be used. Some for attract aphids, some are good at breaking up hard pans, and um, they're attractive to bees, uh, including native bees. Brassicas can bring in uh, insects like aphids, which brings in predators like ladybirds and lacewings. And then also you can get birds coming into the, into the plantation as well. So <clears throat> you do have to watch, you can see the seed pods there, you do have to watch um, brassicas can become a weed in their own right. Clovers are also a great inter-row option. Uh, they fix nitrogen, they're tolerant to mowing, they're great for pollinators. Um, some species grow in the shade. So here's our cedar. It, uh, it arrived a month or so ago and it's a disc drill cedar. The discs are angled so that the seed delivery tube can pass in between them and drop the seed into the crevice that the disc makes as it passes through. It doesn't have uh, wheels. It has a roller at the back which rolls on the ground and the discs, it's, that sets the height for the discs. The discs just cut in an inch or so. It's got some rollers at the back just to uh, press the soil down a little bit, but it doesn't disturb the soil very much at all. You can see the cuts it makes there. I'm sitting on the back of the machine now. We're drilling into a well-mown inter-row. Uh, you can see this, the tubes. Uh, there's the little rollers there that meter the seed where we've got a bit of work to do on figuring out the calibration. It's quite tricky, when, especially when you've got uh, multiple size seeds, seeds. We've got some peas in there and oats, as well as some very fine uh, clover, clover and lucerne seed. So um, we're just doing some experiments at the moment. As you can see there, it's very little disturbance to the soil. So you can virtually plant any time of year with this thing. We'd, we're, here you can see the buckwheat's come up already. That's about 10 days after planting. And here it's about 24 days after planting. We're very much in an experimental phase, trying to figure out the best time for planting, best conditions, soil conditions, rain, weather conditions. Uh, so there's a lot to learn about this whole process. If you're in the Northern Rivers area and you'd like to have a go with the cedar, give me a call.